In this video, I'm gonna share my top three nutrients for combating rheumatoid arthritis. Among other things, these nutrients have been shown to slash inflammatory biomarkers, to decrease pain, stiffness, and swelling, while increasing range of motion and functionality. Let's get into this. Nutrient number one is hinokiol, which is the extract of a Japanese magnolia. And even though most people in Western society have never heard of this substance, it's been used medicinally throughout Asia for over 2,500 years. And there's been some really interesting research on the benefits of hinokiol, specifically for people with rheumatoid arthritis like this study that was published in 2015. The researchers in this study collected blood samples from a small group of people. Half the people in the study were suffering with rheumatoid arthritis, and the other half served as healthy controls. The researchers then tested these blood samples, and as you would expect, all inflammatory biomarkers were significantly higher in the people with rheumatoid arthritis. Things like C-reactive protein and erythrocyte sedimentation rate were elevated significantly, as well as interleukin-1 beta, which was 176% higher, TNF-alpha, which was 216% higher, and GM-CSF, which stands for granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor, was a whopping 357% greater in the people with rheumatoid arthritis. The researchers then treated the cells that were isolated from these blood samples with varying doses of hinokiol. And as you can see from this graph, hinokiol inhibited the expression of interleukin-1 beta, TNF-alpha, GM-CSF, and interleukin-8 in a dose-dependent manner, meaning the greater the dose of hinokiol, the greater the reduction in all of these pro-inflammatory cytokines. These researchers then took it a step further when they exposed the cells that were isolated from these blood samples to a pro-inflammatory cytokine, specifically TNF-alpha, to upregulate the inflammatory response in those cells before treating again with hinokiol to see the effect on interleukin-1 beta, interleukin-8, and those GM-CSFs. And what they found was that even in the cells that had been upregulated to enhance their inflammatory expression, hinokiol treatment significantly reversed the expression of interleukin-1 beta and GM-CSFs in a dose-dependent manner. And it was also able to significantly reduce interleukin-8. The overall conclusion from the study was that hinokiol possesses potential anti-inflammatory effects and can inhibit the active pro-inflammatory cytokines that play an important role in the progression of rheumatoid arthritis. And this study demonstrated that it could actually reverse the expression of TNF-alpha, interleukin-1 beta, GM-CSF, and interleukin-8 in the blood of rheumatoid arthritis sufferers. The second nutrient on this list is high-quality type 2 collagen. And unlike the collagen peptides that make up most collagen supplements, which are primarily type 1 and 3, Type 2 collagen has a solid track record demonstrating how effective it can be for combating rheumatoid arthritis. As an example, just take a look at this study that was published in the journal Arthritis Research and Therapy. In this large-scale clinical trial, they did a head-to-head -head comparison between high-quality type 2 collagen and methotrexate, which is an immunosuppressant and one of the more commonly prescribed drugs for rheumatoid arthritis. So the researchers here took over 500 people with rheumatoid arthritis and they randomly split them up into two groups. Group one received just 0.1 milligram of type two collagen every single day. Group two received 10 milligrams of methotrexate just once a week. Both groups received their treatments for a full 24 weeks. All of the patients in this study were evaluated for pain, morning stiffness, tender joint count, swollen joint count, they also underwent a health assessment questionnaire, and they were also assessed by investigators and given self-assessments. At the end of 24 weeks, the evaluations for both groups showed significant improvements. In the group that was taking type 2 collagen, there was a 41% reduction in pain levels. In the group that was taking methotrexate, there was a 43% reduction in pain. In the group that was taking type 2 collagen, there was a 64% reduction in morning stiffness. In the group that was taking methotrexate, it was a 68% reduction. In the group that was taking type 2 collagen, there was a 53% reduction in the total number of tender joints that people had. In the group that was taking methotrexate, it was a 49% reduction. And both groups showed the exact same 59% reduction in the total number of swollen joints that people had at the end of 24 weeks. 
One other thing that I should mention is that there were significantly less and milder side effects in the group taking type 2 collagen than the group taking methotrexate. And the overall conclusion from this study was, and I quote, type 2 collagen significantly improved joint function and exhibited better therapeutic efficacy and is safe for human consumption even in the long term. This study provides important information about the efficacy and safety of type 2 collagen in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, and this information may be useful in promoting type 2 collagen as a promising alternative therapeutic strategy that may be used as a nutritional supplement against rheumatoid arthritis. The third and final nutrient is curcumin, which is one that I'm sure many of you are already familiar with. But what you probably haven't seen is this meta-analysis that was published just last year in the journal Frontiers in Immunology. These researchers did a systematic review of all of the studies documenting the effects of curcumin on rheumatoid arthritis. They started out with over 100 different published articles on this subject, and eventually they whittled it down to 10 that were included in this systematic review. And they looked at everything from treatment protocols to the effect that curcumin had on different inflammatory biomarkers and clinical symptoms in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. This meta-analysis was extremely thorough. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go through the entire thing. So let me just point out a few of the highlights like this. Curcumin has been shown to improve symptoms and delay disease cycles in rheumatoid arthritis. Curcumin has been found to affect interleukin-10 secretion and immunoregulation and can modulate neurodegenerative diseases by promoting anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive function. Treating rheumatoid arthritis by taking 250 to 1,500 milligrams per day of curcumin for 8 to 12 weeks can improve dysfunctional immune cells and reduce the clinical symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. And finally, curcumin inhibits both activation and expression of pro-inflammatory cytokines, including TNF-alpha, interleukin-6, and interleukin-17. Therefore, curcumin can be used as a preventative measure in individuals at high risk of early or developing rheumatoid arthritis. And according to these authors, the safety profile for curcumin is off the charts. Quote, in our study, no serious adverse events were found in 10 studies. All three of the nutrients that we just talked about and more are available in Movement Essentials Joint Relief. Altogether, we're talking 10 powerful substances, all at therapeutic doses, all in their most absorbable forms, all absolutely crucial for naturally controlling inflammation, improving joint health and mobility, and increasing movement longevity. To find out more about joint relief, click the link in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. I'll also put links for it in the description down below this video. Beyond that, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button before you head out of here, and I'll see you next week.